It hasn't rained at all, has it? Nice little puddle. Those over there are starting to sneak their way toward the barn because they think they want breakfast. It looks like one of the younger calves in that group walking over to Mommy. I got one right here. I don't know where he's from. I haven't got close enough to read his number. But uh, that cow that Ty calls Ruby, our token three-year-old, she's up here in the cow lot all by herself. Not concerned with anything in the world, just standing there in a kind of a strange spot. Don't know where her calf is, don't know what her deal is. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thailand's busy texting me because Lori's still here and he's out walking blue in the morning. So, he's going that way, I'm going this way. I don't want to have to open two gates. I can do this way and open one gate. Hey, Nelson, remember the last time I cleaned this? This is what happens when they go on pasture. They're not in here very much. And with all the wind and rain, a lot of stuff's blown right on out of here. And uh, that part of the floor looks like it's actually been pressure washed. Right here. And there's that cow that's up here. And I am 99.9% .9 sure that's Ruby. She was standing right outside the wall here. Until after standing there for a while and I was watching her, she got stupid and decided to try to take a bite of grass next to her. And, well, the white thing across there is a hot wire. Well, I don't know. That's why we go out and check critters every day. Well, there it is. Just shy of 1.3. And right on 1.25, so. And that's supposed to do it all over again today. They're still kind of skittish. One of them got some really nasty crap. There's a black spot in the middle of the screen over there. It might be Boomer's kit. He may still be squirting. I don't know. And I thought Dino was going to share with that calf there a minute ago because he was up here. But then the cow stepped in. I don't blame him for not wanting to share with her. She's got a green in the feeder. He can't get his head in the feeder. And we're... Uh, Gonna have to grind some feed here real soon. I then actually fed grain yesterday morning. Honestly, shocked me. It's been a while since she has. There's Bam Bam. Hi, huh, bud. How you doing, Bam? Oh, she smells good. Maybe she smells good. He doesn't know which one smells good yet. He'll figure it out. Um, maybe she didn't fill buckets for this morning, so. I'm already wore out after filling buckets. And that's only part of them. I gotta do them all again, right? There won't be much left in here. That's the last of the ground we got. So, I don't know. I hate getting it out and having a hell of a shower on the machine because that just, man, it makes a mess. Brush the shit out of things because you can't get it cleaned up, right? But looky here. I'm surprised all the babies came in. That's not all of them. I know because not all the cows are in, but there's a pretty good share of babies in here. One out there saying, Mom, you're not up here. One thing I've noticed on this phone, when I zoom in to go outside when it's really bright out, it actually clears up when you zoom in. Yeah, there's more ponds there. Freaking crazy. Anyway, uh, blue should be, yeah, they should be done at the vets by now. Get these stitches out and they'll say hi to him. That would be the two-year-old lost her calf. I think that's her. There's one other that looks a lot like her, but I don't see anything for an udder, so it's probably her. She, uh, she was an awesome mom there for a couple days. 
until somebody kicked a calf in the neck or in the head, whichever it went. The other cow that was in with her other two-year-old had a calf was a real bitch. Hopefully she don't do that again or she'll be gone for sure. Well, these were in a pan. I think I showed them yesterday. I figured I'd take a shot at rebuilding them. Yeah, luckily the tool for this has an easy out to get the schrader out of these. That's how one of them came apart. The other one didn't come apart at all. Yeah, you can't really see in there. Try to get it. In. All this one did was broke the end off. It's scooched. See all that green inside? And, yeah, this one. Hmm. No matter where I get it, you can't see any light through it. I could probably punch it out, but it's not working. And, and this one, you can't see the bottom, damn it. Got a little green in the bottom, which means the cap's kind of scooched. And this one, yeah, it's all green inside. So, those go outside in the barrel. If you walk slow, he walks on it. Is that is it went well? I want to see him like around the 18th of June. So hopefully by then he'll be walking on it more regular. He walks any faster than that. He hops on the other one. So yeah, like he was trying. I can't walk that slow. It hurts too much. You can't walk much faster than that either. It hurts too much. But, yeah, that's how I'm going to keep the video going and catch him going up the stairs. This morning he was really slow at deciding to go up. But he's been pretty good at doing it. Takes him a second to decide he can do it. Just like that. Caught Bam Bam here standing on top of the rock pile. Try to make them girls look smaller. Of course, the biggest one of the girls that's close to him walks up here next to him. Actually, a pretty nice day today. Uh, only time it rained since daylight, anyway, was when we were in for lunch. I spoke too soon. It started to rain again. It flat out dumped. Then the sun came back out. And it was a lazy day. We did some more in the shop, put some stuff away. And Becky likes to watch the Kentucky Derby. And of course, she puts money on a horse or two, which she did. And yeah, she didn't put it on the right one, so, like normal. She did, uh, did have one that was in the top three there for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, it didn't happen. So, anyway, pretty much, I'm not going to get into today, not any more than we've already done. Kind of probably should go out and check cows, but watching what's coming over the hill up there, I don't think so. I can see enough from here. I've seen just about all of them. I haven't seen any coyotes out there. Although, uh... Morgan left with his truck this morning to go home. Brooke followed shortly after to go work for him. And uh, Maury saw Brooke's coyote down the road, same place. He just couldn't get up enough steam to run it over. So it's still there. Ty just got done feeding and she got to go dog sit for one of Maury's drivers. One of his senior drivers is uh, really taking two weeks, I think, going on a cruise with him and his wife and sister-in-law and brother-in-law. So, she's going to dog sit. She just got to go there at night. Sounds like she's going to probably take off at lunch and go make sure they're all right, you know. Let them out and go potty, that kind of thing. 
have to get some work out of her sometime, right? Now, if the shop is cleaned up, I actually had some time to do something. But you know, it'll be a day cleaning that thing up before we can put it in the shop to finish taking things apart. Sorry, you're just going to walk with me. Finish doing my check, see who's in and who's not. There were a few calves in here earlier. But with the sun being out, you know, they tend to like that till it gets too much sun. Now I can hear the rain hitting the rest, so. Yeah, we'll call that the, a nice sunny day to end the Saturday. All that feed growing out there. God. A whole bunch of radish, too. And some will say, well, yeah, that's where you did this. No, well, it could be from feeding bales that had radish seed in it, but radish can be in the ground a long time. That and Harry Vetch, they've both documented well over 50 years on some of those seeds laying dormant in the ground before they get the right moisture. I think this year, one of those, it's been so wet this spring that a lot of those old seeds are going to, or have already germinated. Anyway, hope everybody had a good Saturday. If Sunday is uh, as nice as today's been, I don't know how we're going to do it. But we might grind some feed because I need it. But I got to dump most of it in the uh, creep feeder that's out in the cow lot. I don't know that I can get the mixer out there to empty it. I get it out there, but I may not come back. And that's what we got changed for, right? And another tractor. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.